reinstall system on Dell Latitude 7390. By the way, this is really nice ultra big from Dell and Core i7 processor 8th generation and 16 GB of RAM UHD um, uh, screen, which is really great. So today we would know how to do that. Okay, in this purpose, uh, why I'm reinstalling, the reason is I already uh, sold this item and I want to give it away. So what I'm going to do, I want to install totally brand new system on it. And now I will show you how to do that. So first of all, you should have one USB bootable, uh, Windows 10 bootable USB thumb drive. That's the first thing. Second thing is turn off the machine. We're going to change the boot option from the BIOS and then everything should be fine. So Dell always they keep very unique and standard way to get into BIOS for every single machine. Okay, so this machine also not different. The thing is you just need to restart your device or turn it on at the same time. Press F12 to get into it and then you can customize it. So let's plug it in first. Okay. It's plugged in. Now I'm restarting. I'm going to press F tool. All right. So here you go. There are a few options. So as you can see, there is a few options. Legacy external boot device, which is on, might be in your one. If you never customize it, might be this option is in disable mode or invincible. You don't see it. So what you need to do, you need to go to buy setup. From here, go to boot sequence. All right. As you can see from here, there are two options. Okay. And right now, UEFI is on legacy external device boot option is disabled so in that way it's not going to work obviously no so what are you going to do we're going to change it to legacy external device okay the diskety drive we don't need to leave it on okay on board nic that is fine cd dvd drive usb storage that's fine so that is our first choice from this list if you see on the top whatever it says the system going to pick it up at the beginning first that would be the first choice so let's say in case if you want to change it to cd dvd writable one what you need to do click here go up so as you can see the the choice get changes all right so in this case we're going to change it to usb storage device because we're going to turn it on from here do it and save it apply Okay, saved. Now we're going to do exit and press F tool for one more time. Yeah. Okay, from here, now if I do USB storage device, it's supposed to work. Let's see. Hit enter. Yeah, so as you can see, the system is loading up from here. Everything is fine. So the first thing is first, what you need to do, you need to turn it on. Get into BIOS settings. Make sure you, there is legacy support mode is disabled. You must need to turn it on. Okay, so this is very standard and unique. You know that how to do it. Okay, that's the procedure. Now, if you want to make partition, yes, you can repartition it. Anyway, I just want a single partition and I think the rest everything you guys know it already and if you have any question let me know by commenting below and if You like it then please hit the like button if you subscribe that would be a really big big support for me Thank you so much for watching and bye for now